dystopian times. You know, the conservative movement has been fixated on Mr. Potato Head, Cat in the Hat, and lately they've taken a liking to uh, the Muppets. Now, I hope that this doesn't get me like copyright claims because he's going to play a clip of the Muppets. But we're going to watch the Muppets, folks. I'm sure that some of us grew up with it and and see what all of the uh, the noise is about with regard to conservatives and why they're outraged here. Get away from the transgender issue, right? It's everywhere, even though transgender issues, well, really affects a very small number of people. But it seems like they want it to affect a lot more, especially our children. Meet Gonzo. Uh, Gonzo is a Muppet. I just got to pause it real, real quick because like he's he's trying to create this ominous image. And then he cuts to this beautiful, bright picture of the Muppets. And I just I, I love everything that's happening right here. Or one of these characters, Disney characters. Uh, I didn't know Gonzo was a kid, but Gonzo's big. And uh, well, Gonzo had a secret for uh, Gonzo's friends. There you are! You missed our royal ball! We met the most amazing princess! But they ran away, and all they left behind was this. Everyone, there's something I need to tell you. The princess who came it. to your ball tonight was me. <laughs> I'm Gonzarella. <gasps> Based! Gonzo, why didn't Boo tell Based. us? Because you all expected me to look a certain way. I don't want you to be upset with me, but I don't want to do things just because that's the way they've always been done, either. I want to be me. Oh, Gonzo, we're sorry. It wasn't very nice of us to tell you what to wear to our ball. You're our friend, and we love you any way you are. Oh, yeah, of course we do. Yeah. Let oh. me pause it right there before he goes on his rant. We can, uh, you know, already anticipate what he's going to say. But is that not the most wholesome, wonderful thing you've ever seen? Like, how could you not love that? It's incredibly yeah, chill. I, I just want to add this before any discourse takes place that um, Gonzo has been like basically canonically non-binary since the 1970s. You can actually <laughs> find episode segments of it really? wearing a, 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 a dress with like the hand muppets i mean way back decades before i was born so this is yeah no seriously multiple times multiple episodes so this is completely uh yeah this is this is you know what this is canon very base gonzo okay. is a species of alien that doesn't have gender <laughs> so, is, is the you have it. <laughs> okay so uh, no. you can already anticipate what is going to be said here we'll also cut to one of my favorite political commentators on the right who's going to also weigh in here but um let's let him um tell you why he's deeply offended apologies gonzo i oh, sorry uh why is this being pushed i don't know if gonzo is a cross-dresser or transgender but if Gonzo is transgender, that is a disorder. Gender dysphoria Jesus. is a disorder. It, uh, it's an alien. Officially so, all right? <laughs> due to a mismatch so Muppet, between their gender identity alien. and their alien. sex assigned at birth. Okay, so True. before we discuss this, True. that is not all. So Candace Owens actually reacted to this, saying, I can't believe I'm tweeting this, but they are pushing the trans agenda on children via Muppet Babies. This is sick and perverted in all caps. Everyone should be disturbed by predatory cartoons meant to usher children into gender dysphoria. Bring back manly Muppets, anyone. Folks, what is happening on the right? What is happening on the right? Uh, I'll just leave this open to the panel because I... This makes me want to um, so kill myself. We're we're all thinking of the Swedish Chef, right? Like it's it's she's she's got to be talking about the Swedish Chef. Didn't that's that's the only one that comes to mind. Cross dress, eighty years ago. What, I what, think yeah. so. I just, I mean, I'm just I'm just saying that like they're they're act, first of all they act like this is this trans issue when no it's not. There are stories of people dressing up for comedic effect or because they enjoy doing so for literal centuries does anyone remember avatar the last airbender if you haven't seen it you should see it uh, Sokka dresses up as a kyoshi warrior in episode like five makeup and everything but back then there wasn't this obsession with using every instance of a of a guy or or, or whatever wearing a dress as part of the culture war battle against trans people so when, when 
largely uncommented on. But if it came out today, you know people would be screeching about Nickelodeon pushing transgenderism on the youth go or woke, something. Go broke, go woke, go yeah, broke. Go broke. <laughs> Yeah. Well, and, and and to really speak to how much things have changed, like I'm wearing a Zelda shirt and Breath of the Wild. There's this like uh, part of the game where Link has to dress up in women's clothing to like get into some area. Am I like? Oh, I'm I know. Probably, I've like, seen drawings of those uh, of those segments. Listen, right. Oh, and it like I don't remember. We can we can dive into the Legend of Zelda lore, but I mean, like, yeah. I, yes. I don't remember it being controversial even back then. I mean, maybe I saw an article about it, like praising it or something. But now every like conservatives are hypersensitive to where they're fixated on these weird like culture war issues that don't even make sense. Like, you know, the cancellations of Mr. Potato Head and uh, Cat in the Hat when this these oh, weren't actually God. cancellations. Please do. <laughs> why they don't care about um about legend of zelda or anything that we that is done today there's so many examples of things they could get mad about that are way woker or mm -hmm. way more trans agenda as the representative of <laughs> demonic transes who are un undermining the world here um, <laughs> but uh the the it's it's that old people recognize muppets and old people recognize mrs butterworth and old people recognize uncle ben and old people recognize um, the Dr. Seuss, but they don't it's know what their toys. Is. They're it's like their a link. Generation's you mean like toys. a link in a chain yeah. fence? Like that's a yeah. great. Point. I don't get it. That's very yeah. true. It's that, and like I don't know. It, it does seem to be that they get most mad about things that old people would real would recognize, which to me plays mm. into that whole idea of like the Newsmax and Fox News being boomer daycare, mm -hmm. right? Like yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I, I'm it, looking. There's images of Gonzo in a in a in a in a dress from like a million years ago, back when <laughs> everything was drawn on animation cells. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's it's completely toothless. I I don't even know if they believe any of this stuff when they say it. Like I haven't heard. W when are we gonna get the cancellation of Bugs Bunny? That guy dr cross dressed <laughs> all the time. He kissed men all the what? time. He, no, he it's true. On, oh, yeah, it's true. The voice and the affect and it. the makeup. Yeah. Wow. I'm just saying, like, I didn't know this about Bugs Bunny. On my yeah. TV? Man maybe kissing? that's what, maybe that turned me gay. Is that possible? Like, I don't remember seeing Bugs Bunny it, it can uh, kiss men. In you. Yeah. yeah. Mm. yeah also, yeah. I, I just, I, mean, I want to know how the logic of this works, because I think you can make people trans by showing them, by showing kids trans people. But kids are shown <laughs> cis people pretty much all the time. Every human who has ever lived is constantly being shown cis people. So I don't, does it only go one way? Is it, <laughs> and, is it and six, uh, like, sorry, it's cis sexuality in everything, everywhere. Like every single cartoon that you grow up with, it's just like, oh yes, she muscles, he man, you know, and now here we go. It's going to be amazing. Like, I, the thing are, is, by things the way, are very subtly changing. I have never seen an instance of a masculine character being feminized in what I thought was a cynical attempt to promote like an affinity for trans people. I don't think I've ever actually seen that once with all the cynical woke shit that comes out to appeal to millennials. I don't think I've ever seen that. Can anyone, does anyone have any, like, can anyone think of that happening? No. no. I mean, that's the thing. Like if you want to look of examples of like trans representation and, and, and like stuff like that in film and pop culture, it's like overwhelmingly negative. Like you just mm -hmm. get to like the the Ace Ventura, like the most extreme examples of just, just truly yeah. like I don't know, like going back and watching like Ace Ventura, Silence like, of oh the Lambs, God, it's so bad, yeah, Silence of the Lambs, yeah. Oh, Ace Ventura, Ventura is really bad, yeah, it's yeah. really bad. Really I rewatched that one a couple of years ago, and I was like, <laughs> whoa, <laughs> yeah, whoa. <laughs> it just it's keeps really going bad. it's actually it just, just keeps really going it never stops and so do yeah a... like it doesn't okay. make sense no no go ahead i was just i know we, we got a glow up though if anyone's been following one piece for the past hundred years um where we actually have i think two trans characters who are treated well and beloved in the current arc um All right yeah wow you have um uh fuck you have yamato and you have um what's the name of the nine foot tall lady is it three Oh, anyway, I don't know. But yeah. okay, do kids, I didn't do know kids that. read One Piece? I don't know. I, I, huh. so I, I follow a couple of conservative commentators who I think are particularly fun to watch on this particular topic. Um, uh, Candace Owens is always a classic, um, of mm -hmm. course, but my personal favorite is Matt Walsh. And that's okay. because mm. 
Matt Walsh will lose his absolute mind over the smallest thing. And I, I mean, truly, uh, like he read a book uh, once on stream on his little stream that he does. And it was like, and he just read through this book and it was literally a book that was just like, this is Carla. She was assigned male at birth by her parents, but but later on realized that she was a girl and he was like this is perversion this is child abuse this is like i'm not kidding you he's losing his mind like vain like truly angry and i'm like what are you even mad about and 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 he does this to to anything and so it's uh the hyster the like like the, the the hysteria around this like trans stuff. i mean i'm not gonna lie look i'm demon mama so like i don't mind being feared a little bit okay like let's be real i like that a little but it's kind of to an unbelievable degree and you can't mm -hmm. escape it it's everywhere last night i got on twitter i'm like oh god why is why is the word trans trending on twitter and mm -hmm. i'm just like and 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 i'm like oh god every single time it gives me a small heart attack because i'm like what yeah. what's what is it now is it going to be like some other just uh, unbelievable like just you would think that trans people were orcs if you listened to just conservatives like <laughs> It's like it's 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 beyond it's beyond even it's almost beyond parody. The the amount of misstep between um like reality and their idea of reality and and I mean it really does parallel like calling Joe Biden a a uh, a, a Chinese communist. But see on that <laughs> one only Alex Jones will say that. Whereas with trans people like any conservative online will have a meltdown about just seeing that a trans person exists. And they're like, that's child abuse. And I'm like, mm. wait for, because somebody else that you don't like exists. Like, I don't know. It is a level of, it's a level of, of fear and derangement that is genuinely concerning.